SDS Aron Kon E Day in at computers.com Otra video Parati Oi. This video deals with a printer that no longer worked. So this is a tip video, help video, troubleshooting video. I'll cut to the chase and I'll read you verbatim the original problem. It won't print PhotoSmart 75 200 all in one. I think that's the 7520. I don't think Hewlett Packard printers have five numbers in their models. Anyways, it quit working for a month. It also will not fax. That could be a separate issue. I don't know. Don't fucking care about faxing per se. I don't deal with faxing problems with printers anymore. It's a waste of time. Some printers, here's a tip. Some printers, your fax will fail, but you'll still be able to print. Or the scanner will fail, but you'll still be able to print. The multifunction all-in-ones, sometimes one p aspect of that printer, one piece will quit working, but you can still print. That's just how they are. And you cannot fix the scanner, and you cannot fix the fax. They, they might have separate, they probably have separate circuit boards. Anyways, I digress back. They were using Windows 10 operating system, and I will give you a set of instructions so that you can try to fix your problem on your own. I will include a link in the description box of this video to the download for this printer. You know what I'm saying? All right. So what you, the first thing you can try is you can disconnect the USB cable from the, the printer and the computer. Very important, pay attention. Disconnect the printer from, excuse me, disconnect the USB cable from the printer end and the computer end. I fixed issues multiple times by disconnecting the USB cable from both ends. I don't know why that is. Disconnect, reconnect and that might solve your problem it, if it does not continue watching this video if it fixes your problem see you later now you're going to remove your printer from apps and features and I, let me see if I can demonstrate but I have to move that let me see if I can demonstrate and I should Empty my trash can while I'm at it. <laughs> I'll just empty my trash can while I'm at it. I wish I could empty the trash in this hotel, but that's a whole other subject. Basically, the entire building would be empty, except for me, but I digress back to this. Oh, I know, I know, fuck you. Dislike this video, dislike this video, dislike this video now because I just offended you and I've been accused of being a narcissist. Do not comment because you cannot, and do not subscribe to my YouTube channel. I digress back to this public service announcement video. All right, so let me transition. So you're going to remove it from apps and features. You can use Cortana, or you can right click and choose apps and features, depends on what version of Windows 10. Then you're going to look for your printer software. I don't have any printer software, but this is just an example you can type in. This would be an HP 7520. As an example, let's say that software is the printer software. You just highlight, left click to select it. Then you're going to have a modifier uninstall. Obviously, choose uninstall, go through the prompts, remove the software. You may have to reboot. Here's a tip. You should probably restart whenever Windows says. Now, me as a technician, a lot of times I'm lazy or I just, I've gotten away with it. But you as a neophyte, just restart the computer. Most printer software removals require you to restart the computer. During the, the restart, it properly removes the printer. It removes it from printers and scanners and it also removes the driver. So, you know what I'm saying? And later on in this video, you, I'll give you a tip and you'll and the reason why you're getting an error is because probably you did not restart the computer when you were fucking supposed to moving on alright so now we got that out of the way now the second thing we need to do is we need to double check 
and make sure that the printer was removed from printers and scanners. So you can use Cortana and select printers and scanners and make sure that the Hewlett Packard 7520 is not listed. If it's listed, you would select it, left click to select, and then click remove device. It may not be removed because you did not restart the computer or Windows 10 is nothing short of a disaster. And quite often, printer removals, when you remove the software, is supposed to remove the printer for printers and scanners, but a lot of times it does not. So you need to double check. I'm showing you how to properly remove a printer from Windows 10 and properly reinstall it so it will work. So there's step two, step three, print UI, the print UI command. So right click, select run, type in print UI space four slash S space four slash T, oops, T, damn it, T2. I'm kind of far away from the, <laughs> yeah, I'm far away from the keyboard, but whatever. This is a temporary setup right now. I'm moving hotels, so, and I'm glad I'm out of this dumpster fire. All right. So you, if you type in the command properly, print UI for user, user interface space forward slash S space forward slash the number, excuse me, the letter T and the number two, click OK. It will take you to the driver's tab. That's where you want to browse. So you're going to select your printer. Now the software removal for printers, Hewlett Packard, or what, any of them really, is supposed to remove the driver, but sometimes it does not, even after you restart the computer. If Hewlett Packard 7520 is listed, go ahead and select it, then click remove select the second one remove driver and driver package click OK say yes click on yes then you're gonna click the delete button hopefully the delete button will show up on mine it's grayed out but it's uh, I don't need to delete it okay so uh, fucking motherfuckers walk loud around here on those goddamn wooden the knuckle the knuckleheads that built this fucking hotel had this brilliant idea of building wood walkways fucking morons and stingy cheapskate motherfuckers all right I digress back if the delete button is grayed out it could be because you did not restart the computer try it again restart it it also could be because you did not remove it from printers and scanners and it could be because the software removal did not it, remove it from printers and scanners, therefore did not remove the driver correctly. So you know what I'm saying? Two possible possible errors you may receive. The number one error, well, number one. One possible error, possible, is you will receive a access denied. Make sure you have administrator rights, and I would say go ahead and restart the computer. The second error you may receive, well, wait a minute. There's three errors you may receive. I need to update my brain. First error is the one I just went over, access denied. Make sure you're using an account with administrator rights. You might want to just restart the computer. The second error you will get a access denied, or you'll get a de denied. It won't let you delete it because it's in use. Restart the computer. Now, during the software removal, it's supposed to remove the software from apps and features. It's supposed to remove the printer from printers and scanners, and it's supposed to remove the driver. But as a technician, I found out that with Windblows, micro crap, micro ship, micro slop, Windblows operating system, especially Windows 10, which has been nothing but a disaster, probably worse than Windows 95. And believe it or not, I I did not support Windows 90. I, did I? I? Yeah, I think I might have. Early on in my career, I think I might have supported Windows 95. Anyways, but I've used I used Windows 95. That's how I learned how to become a technician. I learned how to troubleshoot my own problems with Windows 95, and it was a clusterfuck. Windows 10 hasn't really. Yeah, with the Windows updates, it's 
you could argue which operating system is a bigger piece of shit. Windows 95 or Windows 10. All right, I digress back. Windows 10 just is not sufficient. It's not reliable when, especially with printers. So I'm showing you how to properly remove the printer and then reinstall it. So you want to follow these instructions to a T because if you do not, it could turn into a disaster and you could be sitting there for hours and days trying to fix your printer. All right, so the third possible error that you'll receive will stipulate that the driver was successfully deleted, which is a good thing, but that the INF file, .inf file, could not be removed. Ignore that, not a big deal. I don't give a fuck about it. It doesn't affect the reinstall, so just ignore it. If you're anal retentive and obsessive compulsive, you could Google that and try to fix it, but if it's even obtainable, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? INF file doesn't really bother me. It's just an information file. Anyways, I digress. That's it. Hopefully, you didn't run any problems. You removed the software from apps and features. You restarted the computer if it prompted you. you and then it removed the printer from printers and scanners, or you removed it yourself. And then number three, either the driver was removed successfully or you removed it yourself you didn't and you either got errors and you restarted and then you were able to or you got the the driver is in use or the printer is in use but you restarted your computer and you were able to remove it successfully and then now all you have to do is click on the link in the description box below in this YouTube video it's a direct download link to the software for the Hewlett Packard 7520 now this individual gave me a satisfactory evaluation, meaning they gave me a certain score, a high enough score that I received compensation. And so therefore that told me that I, with my instructions, they were able to fix their Hewlett Packard 7520 and they were now able to print. And anything else? Anything else? Let me look at the. Okay. They said they tried it. They never responded back, but I received a, an evaluation that was high enough so that I could get paid. Anything else? Okay, now as far as the as far as the faxing, they never responded. It may have fixed that too, because of the software. It, it's not going to fix the hardware. If it's a hardware problem, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't deal with hardware problems when it comes to printers. Now, nah, total waste of my time. I used to try, but a waste of fucking time. I don't know if it fixed their fax problem too. It wouldn't print. And here's some closing tips. I don't want to make this video too long. Sometimes only one device will fail on a, on a multifunction device, a printer. Sometimes it quits scanning, but it, you can still print and you can still fax. Sometimes you cannot print, but you can fax and you can, can scan. Sometimes you can't fax but you can print and you can scan and, and it just goes on and, on and on. It could be because of the software, it could be because one piece of the software or it could be a driver. Like if the driver becomes corrupt, the printer driver becomes corrupt, well then that might be why you can't print. But you can still scan because the scanner... I, I know, I know, I know you're jealous over there. I know you're jealous over there in this room behind me, or I, I know you're annoyed. Fuck you. All right. Or there was a lurker, actually. Somebody just walked by. I heard somebody, like either Snicker or, yeah, this hotel is creepy, man. Like, it's just, oh, it's, everything about it is cringeworthy to me. It's just, fuck, I wish I won the lottery. Because if I won the lottery, I wouldn't fucking stay in a shithole like this, man. All right. Now that I was distracted. So my point is, is that even if only one part of a multifunction device 
does no longer work, it's, it might be worth your time to properly remove the software and then reinstall it. And you, you'd be surprised. A lot of times that will fix your problem because it's a software problem. I'm not talking about hardware problems. You know what I'm saying? And then here's another tip, and this will be the last one. Make sure that you restart your computer. You either restart it when it prompts you, when you remove the software from apps and features. It can take a while, especially with Hewlett Packard. It'll tell you you need to restart your computer. It'll tell you, restart your computer now so that the removal can complete. And then it'll have an OK button. Don't forget. If you forget, restart it because what's going to happen is when you try to remove the printer driver manually, if that printer software removal has not completed itself, and also I found out that if the printer still shows up in printers and scanners and you go to try to manually delete the driver, well, guess what? you'll get it the file is in use error so I just gave you two tips that's why you need to follow the instructions remove the software from apps and features remove it from printers and scanners restart you have to restart otherwise the process might still be running and so that's just how Windows works you know what I'm saying it'll remove all the software but if you don't reboot the computer the the here's another tip here's a a extra tip the little printer what is it called and down in taskbar lower right hand corner there's a printer you can monitor the the printer queue the printer queue has a short top in the taskbar it may be hidden you click the arrow to show all of your taskbar items it, it puts places a icon to the print queue so even though the printer software gets removed the, but you didn't restart the computer so the print queue is still running and so that's probably why you get that error that the driver is in use and then when you try to manually remove the driver it won't let you because the fucking goddamn fucking printer queue is still running all right i'm done yeah, I don't I don't know. This hotel is really weird. I know for a fact that the you see that behind me? You see that door? There's another hotel room back there, but guess what? These are adjoining rooms. And there's like literally no soundproof. You know what's back behind that door? There's another door that's only about this thick. So all you have is two doors that's not soundproofing so every fucking noise out of my mouth could potentially because of physics my voice the I, I'm I'm emitting radio waves and they're gonna go through those two double doors if I talk loud enough and it doesn't take much so and this motherfucker next to this hotel room has kept me up the last actually he's woken me up he keeps fucking banging on the on up against my my headstand twice if he does it again this evening I'm calling I don't care what time it is I'm calling the the office if he does if, if he if he does it again after that I'm calling the police cuz I've just about fucking had it with this shithole hotel and all the fucking bullshit I've had to put up with so that that's a little bit of overtime <laughs> Adiós.